Okay, so in this tutorial we're going to create another page. We're going to start uh, working on embedding. Um, created a page, Padlet Embed. We're going to put it at the top level. So I'm going to click Create. And I've gone to Padlet.com. We've posted some stuff. If you go over here to, uh, well, first of all, I changed the URL to make it easier to find. And that you're going to do it over here with address. You're going to pick a different .com address, or, or rather extension. I've chosen ESC 11 sites. Now as far as embedding, click on the share button. Here's the embed code. Where is it? There we go. So there's our Padlet uh, embed page. I'm going to go to insert, and you're going to do this with uh, pretty much anything that you want to embed. Other than, oops, other than stuff that's already compatible with Google, we're going to go to more gadgets, search for that embed um, gadget, click select, and just control V will paste that in there and then of course we need to change the HTTP where did that go there it is to HTTPS and the cool thing about this this gadget is you can click uh, preview and it's gonna let you know if you did the right thing so we'll click preview and there's and it's ridiculous that one letter letter is going to keep you from doing this, but you know, that's just the world we live in now. So there's our preview, so it looks functional. I'm going to click OK. Now remember, in the when you embed something on the page, it's not going to make it live until you save it. I want to center this, and this is word wrap and that kind of stuff. So if you're adding text, you can enable that. I'm going to click Save. And now I can double click on this and it's still, it's still active on Padlet. So now instead of sending your kids to Padlet, you send them to Google Sites, your Google Sites, and say, hey, click on this particular page and I want you to reflect on whatever, right? Okay, so uh, the size of it is problematic. So what we're going to do is go back to, oops, edit the page. We're going to go back to the embed gadget, click on it, and you'll see that ubiquitous uh, gear that seems to pop up everywhere. We'll click on that, and then here's the width and the and the height of your um, gadget that's going in. Instead of pixels, we can change it to percent. So we're going to change it to 100%, which is going to be the full width of that, that particular page. And then you noticed how short the, the length was, the height was. Uh, and so you just kind of play it by ear. How did you get back to uh, that? Uh, you click on the uh, edit, edit page. Then what? After edit. Click on edit page, then click on the box. The embedded box. Oh, the embed, the actual embed. And then click on the gear. Oh. Yeah. Now, if you if you want to teach yourself a little bit of uh, uh, embed code, which which is what I've done in the past, start paying attention to what's going on up here, and you'll see that width equals one hundred percent, height equals four hundred eighty pixels, and you can you can actually start to teach yourself enough code. You asked the question earlier. How do I how did I know that I needed to add the S? It's, it's mainly because I know that I don't know the difference between HTTP and HTTPS, but I know that they exist. And so um, at 2.30 in the morning in Houston, I added the S, it worked, and I was like, I'm out. I'm going to sleep. Mm -hmm. uh, so, okay, 100% width, 600 pixels. Do you want to include a scroll bar? Sure, to, to help with navigation. Click on preview, and now we see that it's a lot wider, you get a bigger field, and we're going to say, okay, we're happy. I, I was able to um, embed and do the whole thing on the iPad, and I can even double click and type, but it just won't show up. So you can, 